Hi, we're Shannon and Jerry Arner. And our dog, Betty White. Your hosts of the Arner Adventures podcast. Could we have named it something more creative? Probably. But it's the name of our blog. It's our last name. We're on an adventure. Yada, yada, yada. After running our own business, working 24-7. And don't forget a mental breakdown in between. We made a lifestyle change and decided to make the most out of life. We sold our house, most of our belongings, downsized, and moved to the coast. We live life minimally, but fully. We live each day as an adventure. This show will help you learn how to live life more fully, with more intention, by experiencing more, and with less stuff. We'll talk about our own experiences, interview others who have much to share by creating a spark in our lives. Some days we'll share real life ongoings of what we're going through and others will talk about our favorite flavor of waffle. Come join our adventure. It's It's the the Arner Adventures Adventures Podcast. Podcast. Well, hello, everybody. I'm Jerry. And I'm Shannon. Welcome to episode 55 of the Arner Adventures podcast. This is the first episode of 2023. Happy New Year. Yeah, Betty White is so excited. She's just worn herself out. She is snoring away in her pita right here in our studio in Beaufort, North Carolina. We hope that you all had a wonderful holiday season. We're so excited to be back, right? Right. Just so you all know. A lot of the episodes for November and December of 2022 were pre-recorded so that we could have, you know, a bit of a break, some self-care during the latter part of 2022. So this really is us being back since we took a hiatus. It's us. Mm -hmm. It was really, really nice getting to listen to all these episodes and conversations with all these great guests that we had and, and just reflecting on all those moments. Um, that's kind of what the end of the year is for. Mm-hmm. There were so many great conversations last year, and we're just really, we really appreciate that. And we're very thankful. We really are. We're very, very fortunate to have such wonderful guests. And we thought for the first episode of the year, we would do an episode of just us. And then moving forward, the episode that's first of the month will be just us, you know, so like the first Tuesday of every month will be just me and Jerry. Well, and Betty, me and Jerry and Betty. We got a few emails asking during those times, uh, you know, because we went a while since it was a solo episode, I think. Oh, yeah. It's, it's definitely been a few months. So we got mm-hmm. a few emails asking when we were going to be doing some solo episodes again, which is really nice to hear. And we like, you know, we, we really want to do more of that and then talk about our lifestyle because that's really, I guess, what people want to do and hear more about. Yeah, we we just have a lot of fun doing that too. So wrapping up a year of our podcast is a is a big success. And with that, we're able to get a better idea of what you all want to hear and want more of. Yeah. And you have no problem telling us that. <laughs> <laughs> Everyone loves the guest episodes as they should. We do too. The reason we started the Arnor Ventures podcast was to introduce you all to the people who are such inspirations to us. You know, we, these people are quote unquote sparks in our lives. And as much as that always sounds like a soap opera, when I say it, it really is true. They're a spark. And we wanted to share more about who they are, more about our lifestyle since, you know, again, that's what you guys want to know about. So we're going to do a mix of everything. We're not going anywhere. The guests aren't going anywhere. We just kind of wanted to set it up so that you have an idea of what we're going to do moving forward through 2023. Yeah. And speaking of reminiscing and reflecting, I used to have to tape sparks in our lives for my mom every day while she was working. I still, that was days of our lives. Days. (laughs) That was days of our lives. By golly. And you had to record it for your mom. For my mom. Okay. On VHS, I'm assuming. It was VHS. Mm -hmm. I bet some listeners don't even know what that is. (laughs) But, you know. um, Maybe maybe not. Yeah. Um, So anyway, moving right along. In this episode, we're going to highlight five things that were pretty significant in 2022 for us. Then we will announce what our word for 2023 is. Ooh! Uh So if you guys remember, if you've been a listener for a while, if you haven't, we're going to tell you anyway. If you remember last year around New Year's Day, the beginning of our, when we first started the podcast, we did an episode where we talked about setting intentions rather than having these resolutions for the year, since there's so much pressure around resolutions. We have an exercise we we walk through in the episode. We also have a blog about it that helps you find your word for the year, sort of your guiding word. 
last year ours was abundance Mm -hmm. and we reflected on it a lot. I mean, we just constantly talked about it and it just, I think it gets you sort of looking towards what you can do for abundance, realizing gratitude of the abundance you have in your life. So there's so many things that you can do with your word. And so that's what we're going to share at the end of our five, going through our five highlights is what our word is. And then we're going to tell you how you can go and create yours. Yeah. And I think that word was was more um, prevalent day to day than we thought it was going to be. It yeah. really, it really weaved its way into our our daily lives. So uh, it was yeah. very helpful. It really was. Yeah. What do you want to start with? The first thing out of the five that was really significant for us last year. Yeah, this, and this one is is very important. So that's why it's number one. We were able to donate to many mental health causes um, thanks to this podcast, thanks to y'all, thanks to um, our guests. And we did that in October for World Mental Health Day. We donated to the Anxiety and Depression Association of America, that's ADAA, um, One Mind, uh, Not One More Vet, The Trevor Project, and the American Foundation for Suicide Prevention. This episode is brought to you by Havenly. Havenly is the resource we used when we wanted some design help. We wanted some help to acquire that coastal surfer bungalow look that we wanted in our little home by the sea. Havenly allows you to use the services of a professional designer. Virtually, you're able to choose your budget and your designer works along with you with that budget. The process was super easy and now our space, which was once an idea, is now a reality. If you're looking to freshen up your space for the new year, head over to arneradventures.com slash Havenly. There you'll find our link and discount code to save on your design package. That's arneradventures.com slash Havenly. And now back to the show. Yeah. And we were so thankful to be able to do that. And we really want to make sure that we express that the reason we were able to do that is of course, for you all supporting the podcast, our guests, you know, we never, ever thought that, you know, we were going to have all these conversations about mental wellness with our guests. We're just like, oh, there, there are sparks in our lives for a different reason. But the common thread with almost all of our guests is that they all have this journey that they were so authentic about talking about highs and lows and and different ways that they protect their mental wellness, ways that they may have struggled in the past. And because of their authenticity, the reason that we loved it so much is because the more conversation we have about mental health, mental wellness, the more quote unquote, as much as I don't like this word, normal it is. And it reduces the stigma surrounding mental health. I can't even imagine years ago, people sitting around having these conversations about mental health that we were having. Uh, Not at all. I mean, not too long ago, a lot of this was just very um, taboo. I I guess it was sort of taboo to talk about yeah. Mental health things. Um, and I think it shows in our in the reviews that we're getting, which thank you so much. If you left us a, a review last year, some emails, DMs, people were really saying like different guests. Oh, I really resonated with that guest and, and her journey or his journey. And so when October came around for World Mental Health Day, we really wanted to do something um, that sort of honored our guests and, and you all for helping support us and the podcast and our guests and really just to keep this conversation going. So yeah, we, we, there are so many organizations and you know, what we did was we took, you know, the sponsorship money that we received for October and donated that between those organizations. And we would love to be able to do more and, you know, volunteering or even getting these organizations out into the universe. If you're not familiar with them, we're linking them in the show notes they're all mental health uh, related. And the not one more vet I just wanted to talk about really quickly is not one more veterinarian. So there, we've talked about this a little bit in the past that we had an, a business in the pet industry and the pet industry, especially veterinarians have one of the highest suicide rates of any profession. And so not one more vet 
is an organization that is a support group for people who are in the veterinary field to help support them in, in times of, you know, um, struggles when they're, when they're really struggling with different crises mentally. So we really, we really stand behind that one. We stand behind all of these, but we really, really stand behind that one. Yeah. That one's, that one's kind of unique to, to us in our situation, having the business we had. So we knew a lot of things that people probably don't realize about that, that vet, the veterinarians tend to have these, a lot of these issues. Yeah. Well, um, well, yeah. The number two, uh, so we, we, I don't know if tease is the right word, but if you follow us on social media, you may have seen us talk about this a little bit in our stories at the end of the year. I can't remember if it was right before Christmas or right before New Year's, but nevertheless, we were taking care of our cats. We have a little cat colony. We've talked about them a little bit. There's some stray cats here in Beaufort. And so we have sort of a stray kitty colony, <laughs> kitty cartel, we call them, that we take care of outside. Well, as it got cold, we were making houses for them. And as we were sort of showing the houses, we alluded to this story and then said that we were going to be talking about it in the first episode of the year. The reason we're including it, number two, is that it was significant all year long. Oh, yeah. All year long and, and a little bit before that, too. That's true. I forgot yeah. about that. Yeah. So I guess the reason we wanted to share it is because we could not talk about it all year. Some people knew that there were things going on with us. I remember, and she's probably listening to this episode, I remember having to cancel a meeting with someone, which I hate to do. Actually, no, this happened to two people because it was on the same day where I was, and we're going to get to that now, was in court and wasn't out of court yet because of this situation. And I had to cancel a couple of meetings. So they'll really know now exactly why that was. <laughs> I don't even really know how to start this. It's a hard one to start. It's a it's a complex story yeah. in a way. <laughs> and I think when we tell even family updates about it, you're kind of, you just kind of want to be like, just forget it. Just know it's crazy. Yeah. I mean, it literally is crazy. Mm -hmm. So um, without getting, to, you know, keeping you guys on here forever, we'll just kind of tell you that um, the kitty colony, they, um, again, you might've seen this, they were living in this wooded lot here in Beaufort, which is pretty rare. We live on an island here on the ocean. So there's not a lot of trees, but this little lot had it. There is a group that does trap and neuter, trap and release. Yep. Um, trap neuter release. Trap neuter release. Yep. And we kind of just started helping them, like feed these cats. They would trap them, spay and neuter them, bring them back to help control the cat population in Beaufort. I am so neurotic about things like that, wanting to make sure that you know you're on someone's property. That I found who owned that wooded lot. There was nothing on it, except these stray cats. Got permission from the person who owned it. And we were good, right? Like we're feeding them. We were putting them on social media. You probably saw Rhonda, Rondette, you know, the whole gang. Oh, so we thought we were good. We thought we were good. Mm -hmm. Someone moved in into um, a home right beside that lot. This person, I mean, look, did not care for the cats right off the bat, right? Right, oh, <laughs> right, right. Yeah. It, and he had a dog and it. he just thought the... The dog, they were a distraction to his dog, I guess, or something, which was silly because he was letting his dog run off leash. And if he would have had his dog on a leash, the cats would not have been a problem. Absolutely. So yeah. it started with the dog charged me and Betty White on a walk. Mm -hmm. And then the dog ran over to our yard in yeah. the backyard while I was working from home. So look, just know that this was just a, a crazy town situation. Yeah. Um, Bat shit crazy, y'all. <laughs> Shit crazy. <laughs> you can't make this story up, okay? You really cannot make this story up. We even, by the way, we even when they moved in, we're like going over introducing ourselves, yeah. telling them, hey, if you happen to see us on the property beside you, not your property, we have permission. This is what we're doing. And you know, it just it just was crazy from the start. Yeah, it was. Well, and the property they were living on wasn't even their property, it's a rental. And then and nice. ours is too, by the way. Like we're yeah. not downing rentals. We're just saying that. It, we're just saying they moved into a rental 
and we had an issue with the property that was next door that was not had nothing to do with the rental property they were living on. Right. Yeah. So what, what kind of was the catalyst of all this is the dog came charging over here again one day and I was here by myself with Betty. I called the police. <laughs> you know, well, I mean, I want to protect me and my dog, then whatever. So the police came crazy town, uh, comes out in the middle of the street and starts shouting all of these things about me and Jerry, personal, financial things about me and Jerry that we, some were on our blog. We'd never told them our last name. We never told them we had a blog, but some of it was not on our blog. How much money we pay in rent that was never made public, who our landowner was, things about Betty. Like we knew right then this is a stalker situation and this is getting pretty scary. That shit crazy. <laughs> Okay, so the situation got worse. We're going to wrap it up here, but he was arrested a couple times. But then the catalyst for disorderly conduct, for resisting arrest, prior to moving here, he had a gun charge. And I'll just tell you, for all those who are probably wondering, because I didn't bring this up, two people who are black males brought this up. He is a white male. He is a white male that had charges and arrests and nothing ever happened to him. Nothing ever happened to him where these black males in our life who were talking to us were like, oh, I'd be under the jail if these things happened. So I just want to talk about that part of it first, because we're going to get into a little bit more about what you do as a victim. But one morning I come back from my walk, Jerry's at work, and we had just had our cameras installed because of crazy town. And um, I'm in the back getting ready to work and I hear something at the front look and it's crazy town and he's throwing items from the cat property like houses the span neuter traps all this stuff onto my front porch i guess my adrenaline's kicking in i don't know why i opened the door i did and then when he threw the last bin that had you know wet blankets in it it was really heavy it hit the door the door hit me thankfully it did because he was charged with assault on a female littering, trespassing. And we literally fought this all year long. This episode is brought to you by BASE. Listen, if there's one thing that bugs us to no end, it is traveling with someone who checks their luggage. What a waste of time and money. <laughs> First, you should just take less and you can grab our travel prep list at arneradventures.com to pack smarter. But one of the best resources we use is our base carry-on rollers, which allow us to carry everything we need. And since it's the carry-on size, you don't have to check it. I think the most common questions we get from people is how we avoid checking our luggage. And we always say, pack smarter and base. Head over to arneradventures.com slash base. That's B E. I S to grab the link to save fifteen dollars off of your first purchase. You're not going to regret this purchase. Our family and friends and anyone who travels with us now has base luggage. Really, because they got tired of me complaining about them wasting my time. <laughs> <laughs> that is arneradventures.com slash base to grab the link there. It's also in the show notes. Happy travels and now back to the show. He it kept having it continued. I got a the a restraining order. Yeah, you know, but it's called something Cease else. This, no. no um, um, well, just know it's kind of the it's kind of it's a restraining order when you don't have some kind of a relationship with that person. Anyway, mm. he he couldn't get around me. He broke it one morning when me and Betty were walking. Came charging towards me and Betty. Called the police. So you're asking yourselves now, but I don't understand. He did all this. Why wasn't he in jail? Good question. That finally landed him 30 days. Finally. That incident. Yeah. Finally. Mm -hmm. It did. But before that happened, we had to get an attorney. So as a victim and you're wanting this to stop, you have to invest in money. I called the North Carolina Victims Association. I talked to attorneys. I talked to judges. Everyone was saying, you need to get an attorney. And I still can't believe that we had to get an attorney to get this crazy town. And by the way, we use crazy town. We don't make fun of mental health. We use crazy town because there was a band at the 90s called Crazy Town. And we just, 
went with it because yeah, it seemed that. like a crazy town situation. It really did. It was just, a, and it was a way to have a little bit of fun with a really bad situation. And so all last summer, we didn't even really enjoy being here. We were actually doubting, do we stay? What do we do? And it finally, he finally served some time and he finally moved. They moved. And uh, I, I think they knew that they were out of options. They had to leave. And uh, this was all resolved on December 20th. The last time he had the, the potential of doing 30 more days because he had broken the law when he had a suspended 60 day sentence and he did 30 of that and he could have done the 30 extra, but they let him off that on the account that they had left the state and just that they would be away from here. And that's kind of how that worked out. So they are away in another state. Yeah. So North Carolina is a victory there. <laughs> yeah. We do still have the order. It's like the restraining order. It's like we still have the restraining order in place for another year. You know, hopefully it stands. But nevertheless, we wanted to talk about it because we feel like we're so authentic about everything in our life, but we could not talk about it legally last year. And some people knew something was going on. Some people were just wondering why certain things were happening in our lives. And so that is it. And I think 2023 is going to be a much better year. It is for us. And it definitely is going to be for the kitty cartel. Oh, without, oh gosh. We thought he was going to kill them. He was threatening to kill them, but they're all here. They made mm -hmm. it through it. Yep. And, and they live in our, our back area now, not across the street in the woods that we're next to. Crazy town. Yeah. That, that is number two. That, yeah. that, that's the longest story. So you don't have to go, oh my God, are all of them going to be this long? <laughs> They're not. But we just wanted to make sure that we went through that issue so that we could talk about it. And just to tell you, if you happen to be a victim of any, gosh, it, it, at the end of the day, folks, it wasn't about the cats. No, not at all. I mean, that was the catalyst. He had been but... stalking us. He knew so much stuff about us. Oh, yeah. It was weird. Like that'll find a way. It just the the cat, the cats were the catalyst, you know, <laughs> kind of set him in motion. Uh, but something else would have done it, too. You know, you just. Yeah. And you know what? We we also want to make sure that we say that we realize how fortunate we are. And yeah. there are people who have it a lot worse and cannot pay for attorneys. and. I mean, we struggled to pay for that attorney to get out of this, but we did it. Yeah, that one hurt a little bit. Yeah, but yeah. At the end of the day, so worth it. It is worth it. Okay, yeah. let's move on to something happy. Travel. Number three, travel. The cruise yeah. industry opened up, which you all, a lot of you know about. Those episodes where we reviewed um, the cruises that we went on were pretty popular. People wanted to know a lot about it, especially with COVID. And, you know, there's no place we'd rather be than by the sea. By the sea. But yeah, we got to do some fun cruising this year. Yeah, we did a lot of traveling this year. And we were so yep. glad to thrive and be out there again. And Yeah, that oh, was a lot of fun. Yeah. Yeah. And to be away from here because of what we talked about. Number two. <laughs> this episode is brought to you by Southern Oak Artisan. Southern Oak Artisan makes 100% natural soy candles that are not only aesthetically pleasing, but are safe to breathe since they are made with non-toxic ingredients and they're not overwhelming like other candles you may be used to. Between morning brew, lemon bake, lavender, there's just so many scents to choose from. Southern Oak Artisan 100% natural soy candles are handmade in our home state here in North Carolina, but lucky you. They ship all over the U.S. Yes, lucky indeed. Head over to arneradventures.com slash Southern Oak Artisan, where you can grab our discount code and link to save on your soy candle purchase. That's arneradventures.com slash Southern Oak Artisan. It's also in the show notes. And now back to the show. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and of course, we got Betty out of here too, it's by the way. Nice escape. Yeah. Yeah. If Betty couldn't travel with us. She was with my mom. Number four. I'd say we really leaned into what makes us happy. And especially with the, the story from number two, we were really wanting to make things happier, our home sanctuary, our lives. And, you know, Jerry, many of you know, Jerry works full time outside of Arnor Adventures. And I got a promotion. 
got a couple of promotions. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So uh, um, that was good. Been a good year. Yeah. And we were much better about sticking to our boundaries, which you all know I definitely have a lot of issues with. I am, you know, really actively working on that, setting better boundaries with people that I didn't have them with. And I'm just getting, we're just getting better. We're, we're just going to keep riding that momentum into 2023. Momentum. Keep mm -hmm. that word in mind, y'all. Yep. Yeah. We're going to ride that momentum into 2023. And number five is our gal, our golden gal, Betty White. She has continued great health. We're so fortunate. You know, her arthritis bothers her, but I think that may be a, a, some gentle stomach issues. Mm -hmm. She is thriving. She's going to be a teenager this year. And now, this year, for the first time, she was the Betty White after mm -hmm. the loss of the star of stage and screen, yeah. uh, Betty White, mm -hmm. last year. Yeah, mm -hmm. she is the Betty White. She's the Betty White now. We're grateful, mm -hmm. um, fortunate to have Betty White's great health and happy spirits. Yeah, she's just... Um, Doing good every yeah. day, day to day for that one. She yeah. is. Yeah. And so I guess now what we'll do is kind of wrap up and get into our word of the year. Our word of the year. And again, we'll link down in the show notes the practice of how you do this. It's sort of a process of free writing, uh, journaling, funneling the word out. There's different steps of how you do it, but it usually bubbles up. And yeah. at the end, you kind of have this word and you're like, oh, yeah, okay. We noticed a little repetition with this one. Uh huh. Said, Huh. Mm -hmm. Something to be said for this word. Yeah. You want to say momentum? Momentum. Momentum. There's something to be said for momentum. That is what Jerry always says. There's something to be said for momentum. Uh. Momentum is our word. We're going to take what we've built this year, maybe the ground floor of a lot of things, and we're just going to keep riding it and keep our hard work, self care. It, it go it really goes in a whole spectrum of things for us. You know, our wellness journey, mm -hmm. our mental health, Betty, our and relationship, yeah. our and everything adventures. Everything you do is always the foundation for the next things you're going to do. You just it's yeah. brick by brick. You keep building these things. We keep building these things. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're going to continue our advocating for animals. We're going to continue. Uh, of course, yeah. And, you know. I'm just going to say this real quick. And I did say this on Instagram. We believe there is a very special place in heaven for people who take care of animals. And without being funny here, I don't understand someone who, number one, would harm an animal. Number two, not want to make sure that they're okay. And you know, if you want to ignore it, fine. But Wanting to harm them, I think that just speaks volumes about the type of person you are. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. You should probably seek some help. Yep. But yes, we are. We're going into 2023 in a good place. We're excited about continuing conversations that you guys want to hear about. Being more authentic about things like this. We're sorry that we couldn't talk about it last year because it was we would have loved to talk about it because I feel like we needed to talk about it. Yeah. But man, it was good to get that out. It was good to get that. Yeah, out. this is cathartic. It is. Yeah. We're gonna ride that momentum and keep going. <laughs> ride that momentum through catharticism. Yeah. Is that or, yeah. Uh, maybe? Okay. Maybe. Well, <laughs> if this episode resonated with you, or if you know of someone who would benefit from anything we talked about today, or any episode, our guests, or anything, please share it with a friend. It's a great way of supporting the podcast and us, and we really appreciate it. Another way of supporting the pod is by leaving us a five-star reviewer rating on the platform you're listening to us on. Oh, and go ahead and hit that subscribe button because that also supports us. We would love that. You can always find us, links we refer to during the show, and any of the podcast sponsors at arneradventures.com or linked here in these show notes. Yeah, definitely. And if you have ideas about things that we should be talking about, then just shoot us a little DM or, or message us over arneradventures.com and we will definitely tackle that one for you. Indeed. And until next time, enjoy that journey you're on. We're wishing you lots of adventures. Adios. Arrivederci. Au revoir. Adios. Uh, sayonara. Alvida uh, Dos Vidiniana. <laughs> <laughs>